wanted to show you uh, on the Power Lab 8, which I've not found anything on the YouTube channel that shows how to actually charge with this device. One of the things I found out is that right here, let's see if I can see that, it's a balance port. What I have here is a whole bunch of these. You start off with the black, and that goes to ground. The red goes to your last cell. These are 7S, so this would go to ground right here. And I had to make extensions on them so I could bring it out here and plug it in. Soldered on some extensions, but the black would go to ground, which is right here. The next one is cell number one. And cell number one connects between cell one and two. Now these in series, so the positive to the negative, I have it here. And cell number, that's one to two, and this is two to three, and that would be the next one. And since I have 7S, I've cut this one off, which you can see right there. So that would be cell number eight. If, uh, if you had eight cell. So I deal with seven seven cells, seven series. So anyway, again, coming out of here, your goes to the negative, this goes to the positive. And a very important thing right here is this thing right here. This goes to the computer, and let me show you that, why that's important. This goes to my power supply, which I have 24 volt power supply. Okay, I wanted to show this box. This is where the uh, Power Lab 8 came in. That is the website you go to to get the software I'm about to show you, which is right here. For the Power Lab 8. And I find that this is more important than the little buttons that are on the Power Lab 8 itself. So I want to show you how I set it up. Actually, I had to call. I had to call the um, <laughs> helpline to do this. But anyway, right now we're going to go to presets. What I've done is I've decided to pull this menu down. You can set it to whatever you want. I got it set, well, up to 10 amps. So I have it set at 10 amps. I have my cell voltage set at 4.175. I don't want to go up to 4.2. It'll shut off about 4.18 automatically. Uh, general, let's see if there's anything there. Detection, I have it down to 2.7 volts. Discharge, I'm not concerned about discharge. I really haven't done anything with these. This is the main one right here. What voltage do you want it for each cell? Because that's why you have to have uh, these little things right here, your balance leads, and get those from the the uh, from that same site. And they're in about uh, a little over four dollars with shipping uh, each. You want to get plenty because the next pack I have, I got to have five of them, and I only got three left. So there we go. Once you get that done, and, and let's say, let's just change this one so you see what I mean. I'll go back one step to 4.1. And it's going to ask you to update. So you update that setting. You hear that little beep from the uh, Power Lab 8, meaning that it's accepted that. Go back to cells. And another thing you want to do is what they told me is go to number one, LiPo. Now, these are lithium ion cells, so you put it on number one. Accurate. It's going to please wait. Now, what's going to happen when I push this start button? Remember, I have it set for 10 amps. Oh, just to show you the supply right here. Enable your power supply, minus 25.31 volts. And I've almost, this is almost totally charged, my system. Uh, current amp limit is 55. Supposedly, this Power 8 will 
uh, kick out 40 amps. But I, I have not seen it. The only thing I've seen is the 10. But again, I don't know everything about it. I only know enough about it to charge my my battery pack here. So we'll go back. So that has to be enabled for your power supply. You can actually take it off batteries if you want to. And then you would enable that, and this would disable that. So, but I have a power supply that I built, which I have a video on that. So, anyway, we got down to number one, which is generic LiPo, which is the same thing as lithium ion, because you stated what voltage is the maximum you want to charge, and you just push start. And what's going to happen, this screen will come up. And then it'll say charge only, discharge. I've never discharged, so I want to do charge only. Click that. Hear a little beep. Now, see, it brings up the cells and what the voltage are. Just click that one, OK. Then it's going to ask you, would you want to name this thing? And I am going to name it number five. since it's the fifth time I've done this. And what's going to happen right here is this is it's going to have that delay, that delay that I kind of showed you before the current starts. And you have a timer down here. And we'll see how long it takes. Now it's starting to kick in. Now it has about a 30 second delay. And then we got up here the right here your current that's the amps going in and since I'm almost fully charged it's not going to be that significant uh, that long but from when I discharge it on a previous video uh, testing out the uh, pure sine wave inverters uh, it's about three hours at 10 amps so anyway just thought I would show you this little thing that I've learned from the technical support from uh, uh, the company that produces the Power Lab 8. And I've looked all over the place for a video. Now, I have some um, Tesla batteries that I can't access you know, these things or to put them on what the cell is. I'm going to try to put just these two, positive and negative, and hopefully it'll work because I need to charge them up. They're 24 volts. So, anyway, uh, thank you for watching.